Hi viewers, it's Ket, and welcome to another episode of my Obby Mahler Progress video series. If you haven't watched the first episode of this series, it is linked down below in the description. I will be showcasing the highlights of the current progression of my Obby Mahler account build in Old School RuneScape. I have spent hundreds of hours on this account build since you guys last saw it, so I cannot wait to share with you all the little surprises and achievements that I have obtained. The starting stats for this video are as follows, and let's get right on into the accomplishments. So do you remember that stupid little thing that I was trying to do uh, last video? Yeah, kind of went all the way with it. I got 4,000 Chompy Bird kills. This took between 32 and 35 hours to complete. Starting at such a low range level of 35, I ended up getting 190,000 experience in ranged alone. All that really matters is that I've unlocked the highest tiered Chompy Bird hat, which increased my fashion scape level tremendously. After that horrendous grind, I wanted to do something more relaxing, and completing one of my goals that I wanted to achieve for this account, which is a second 99, so I figured I would go ahead and do crafting, because it unlocks a skill cape that gives you a quick teleport access to a bank that is right near it, actually. And this is perfect for a couple skills, like runecrafting, that involves a lot of banking and running, so this is just something that's going to progress my account to the next level. And as you can see here, this is footage from one of our skilling events here at Sears Village. We try to just come together as a clan four times a month. Uh, I was just focusing on crafting at this point. 96 and 97 crafting. This is almost the finish line for me for this skill, boys. It's taken me quite a long time, probably around 40 hours rough estimate, with a budget of about 50 to 55 mil. And the last few battle stabs for the big fireworks happening right here. 99 crafting. This is huge. It's going to trim my cape. I am so excited right now. Just going to be able to buy the cape and wear it and do the emote in front of this noob here. Uh, you got to do what you got to do. You got to flex your account, you know? Just take a look at this emote, guys. This beautiful, stunning cape. It's just magnificent. It opens so many doors for my account now, and I'm glad this is finally over. Amidst the crafting grind, I got a considerable amount of farming XP, and er, the spider just tilts me, man. These levels are coming decently quick because I'm doing two magic tree runs a day, I'm doing one palm run a day, I'm keeping up on my Celastius and Calquat trees, and I'm also doing the hardwood trees on Fossil Island, which are really, really good XP per GP, netting me about 230k XP a day. Alongside farming runs, I chose to keep up on birdhouse runs as much as I possibly could because this is just a gradual way that I could train Hunter without actually touching the skill itself because I find the early levels to be a little bit aids, but I managed to make a considerable amount of profit and gradual experience doing this method on Fossil Island. It normally took me between 1-2 to two minutes to complete a run, and you can do these every 50 minutes to gain a nice chunk of XP and GP during that time. Moving on, I also managed to obtain the Berserker Ring imbue using the blocking method at Nightmare Zone. So since I'm one prayer, I don't really have access to block all the hits from the creatures, so huge shout out to Obsmalls for helping me obtain this using the blocking method and tanking the hits. Another goal that I personally set for myself was I wanted to actively train my total level, and yes, I'm one of those nerds that actually cares about my total level and my progress for my account. I don't know why it bugs me so much, but I get so much of a uh, satisfaction for training my total level. So the first thing on my to-do list was to train runecrafting, since I was so excited to train runecrafting after uh, previously achieving my 99 crafting cape. So it's probably going to stay at 50 for a while until I obtain 99 agility and come back to it and finish it off with lava runes and eventually blood runes. Next on the list for me was to get some considerable smithing gains at the Blast Furnace. So I went ahead and just took the initiative on that. And this is actually a really quick skill because at level 40 you unlock the best EXP rates per hour. To train using this method you need to first complete the Family Crest quest and then unlock the Gold Gauntlet shortly after. This quest has a high magic level requirement of 59. For most obbies, this is obtainable by boosting up from 53 with an imbued heart. Next, I wanted to train Herblore a bit, and originally I was gonna go aim for like 70 or maybe 80 and stick with that, but since it was so similar to crafting and how I just previously did that grind, I just managed to stick through it. I mean, it was another bank skill. I had the money in the bank, so I just figured why not invest this into a skill that I'll need further on down the road. So I just wanted to stick with it until I reached 99. From 55 to 72, I did super strength pots. From 72 to 90, I did ranging pots. And from 90 onward, I managed to do super combat potions, which saved me a little bit of money in the process doing that. As you'll see here in the next few clips, I managed to stick it out until the end. 
and initially I didn't really anticipate everybody to get together and celebrate this 99 achievement with me. I just wanted to go get the cape really quickly and move on to the next skill. But the boys were there for me and we ended up throwing two 99 parties at the same time, one for Moose Cake and one for my own self. And we managed to just have a house party at the end of it and threw some loot for the CC. I mean, it was really nice. And honestly, this was probably the best party I've ever hosted and have ever been a part of. I mean, the boys really did come through for us. Like I said, we all just wanted to be there and it was quite a moment. Like it almost made me feel like I was playing RuneScape 10 years ago where people did this all the time. They went into the combat ring and started, you know, flying fists everywhere. I mean, it was really cool to just get the whole CC together in one little world, one little party and just flex. I mean, it was just awesome. Heck, even the genie himself wanted to come out and congratulate me on my new achievement. This event was something that just sparked out of the blue where me and Moosecake were really just really close in that 99 level and we wanted to achieve it at the same time and we did not really anticipate everybody to come out here like I said and I just wanted to thank again all the CC members that came out, all the staff members that made it possible and I wanted to share some love back to the CC because you guys really do deserve this. And if you're not an Obby Elite CC currently, and if you are an Obby or just want to hang out, I really do recommend you guys checking out our clan chat at Obby Elite. Uh, it's just a really fun place to be, guys. After achieving another cape, I wanted to go back to the total level grind and pick out a few skills that were rather lacking and train them up a bit to just sort of aesthetically improve my account and my appearance of my skills. So that was 50 mining and now on to Winter Todd to complete 70 fire making. I was super excited to train at Winter Todd because not only do you get a boatload of fire making XP, but you also get a lot of wood cutting and fletching XP. And I brought some darts along to train fletching in between the rounds because I figured that this would be a quick little way to get fletching XP and not burn out as easily because there's only about a minute in between rounds. Back to training some more of my lower leveled skills, I wanted to do pyramid plunder and this way I could just train thieving without really standing in one place and left and right clicking an NPC. I got to move around a lot and that means a lot whenever I'm just strictly grinding a skill. And you know me boys, I'm always on my farm and grind, so here are a few more clips of the steady progression of this skill. It's personally becoming one of my favorites, and although it is kind of expensive, I really love seeing the progression of this skill and getting up every morning and just doing my farm runs. It's very relaxing. While anticipating the return of BH in a couple months, I really wanted to press myself to get a couple more strength levels on my account. So here's me using my favorite Ammonite Crab spot down below the dungeon on Fossil Island. The downside to it is that it's only a single combat two spot, but I feel that this spot is actually kind of cool because it has less traffic and I don't have to fear getting crashed if I go AFK for too long. Getting back into some more dart making, I feel like this is going to be one of my next 99s because it goes so freaking quick and I figured that the one of the best places to bring darts to is actually Fishing Trawler because this place is generally aids with a lot of downtime and a lot of AFKing and I feel like I just wanted to be very efficient whenever I get this angler outfit. So I managed to actually go from 80 all the way to 91 fletching just bringing darts along while anticipating to get all the angler pieces so it was really quite a journey after obtaining all the pieces of the outfit from the fishing trawler i managed to take it for a spin and i grabbed 50 fishing along the way with all of these new achievements the only thing left standing in my way is 99 fishing and all of the agility levels that i'm going to obtain in the process the next few steps that I have planned out for this account are going to include getting that 99 fishing, obtaining the graceful outfit shortly after that, and then eventually grinding for 99 agility. With 99 agility, that's going to open several doors, including going back to a couple skills that I've already touched base on in the past, such as runecrafting, hunter, smithing, and thieving, as all those skills require a ton of movement. With all that being said, that's going to conclude the second episode to my Obby Mauler progress video series. So make sure to leave a comment down below, subscribe, and Obby Maul that like button because you're going to find me doing a lot of fishing between the next few months. I want to take this moment here to thank you guys for your time and thank you for your continued support through my Obby Mauler series and all of my guides listed out there for the Obby community. You guys deserve it and until next time, peace.